you are you have studied in Delhi College of Arts. Yes, sir. Which is located in Netaji Nagar. Yes, sir. And studied there for how many years? Sir, from 2016 to 19. 19. Yes. So that was day classes. Yes. You have seen the campus. Yes. Eh? Then what is that hang around campus? I I couldn't get you. Sir, uh, I by hang around I mean I was mostly in Netaji Nagar, sir. Okay. I have not fully discovered new Moti Bag, sir. Okay, okay. No, but have you gone once or twice inside? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. That's what I am asking. If you have gone inside, how does it look like? Do you find anything new? Which is not available in any Delhi sir, place. Sir, yes, sir. Sir, uh, I I saw two or three major things. Firstly, is the uh, uh, food outlets, sir, uh, which are very well there. You can find good South Indian food there. Where? Uh, sir, it's a shop, sir. I don't remember Achha, the name. Okay, okay. Uh, yes. Then. Secondly, there are also government uh, quarters uh, located, and uh, sir, it's 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 like it's like that, sir. Government quarter. Who's which government? Uh, so I cannot show you that. <clears throat> you have filled up your form, na? This yes. form. Hmm? Yes. How many services are there in this? Sir, twenty-one, sir. Twenty-one. And how many class B and uh, how many class one services? Group A and group B. I'm sorry, sir. I no cannot idea. show it. No idea. It's okay. <clears throat> you know, we have parliament in the central government, yes, sir. and then we have. government central government hmm? do we have this parallel at the lowest level of uh, governance same type of arrangement sir uh, at the lowest level uh, we have the local self government sir those are the panchayati bodies and the uh, urban local bodies sir. Hmm. can you equate these two institutions with the institutions at the ground level yes sir so in these two situations which are at the central level that is the parliament and the central government parliament is the law making body of the country sir where is the central government is the executive uh, uh, located at the center whereas uh, in the uh, at ground level we have the panchayats for the villages at the uh, nagar panchayat level as well as zilla parishad to overlook these so these are executive mostly and we have parallelly the urban local bodies sir see parliament we can equate to gram sabha okay sir okay yes may not be exactly but they are representatives of the people they are and they are people themselves hmm? they can raise their concerns and all yes and eh? in gram sabha yes okay sir. and government there you can equate with the panchayat okay sir okay thank you sir it will not be 100% same yes sir. because they are not law making body but they can raise their concerns at the gram sabha level yes whereas parliament they raise the concerns of the public being the representatives of the public yes okay uh, have you heard of forest conservation act ah uh, yes sir i have heard of the okay what is the objective and how it functions yes sir sir the forest conservation act is about uh, allowing for the uh, use of forest land that is uh, that is under the authority sir so the, if if the if the land is to be diverted sir uh, diverted for what for for development purposes sir hmm. yes sir so it uh, so the act regulates that sir there is a forest land degraded one yes, and sir. we want to afforest it plantation want to raise yes sir does is it diversion i uh, know sir Th- that is also under the act but sir afor- afforestation is allowed with within regulation sir. so then you should say diversion of forest land for non forestry purposes yes sir okay yes, sir. okay uh delhi we have a commissioner's post yes sir hmm? that is uh, under whom is delhi government uh, no sir it's, uh, it's under the home ministry sir central government it's under the home ministry yes sir and uh, it is go- uh, is it a cadre post cadre post means it is coming under which cadre uh sir i'm not sure about that you you have filled the agmur cadre as one one of the choices yes sir sir i can guess it is agmur cadre but i do not know whether it functions independently of it or not <coughs> it is agmur cadre so what i am asking is whether government can appoint anybody else there not belonging to agmur cadre sir so i am not sure about this sir. not sure yes <coughs> what are the discretionary powers we say generally this is discretionary power what does it mean yes sir sir discretionary power would mean that uh, within the prescribed power for that authority 
there is a uh, scope for discretion which the in, which the individual can exercise uh, within those power hmm. so it depends on uh, it is it is called as discretion then sir so in the government whether these discretionary powers should be allowed or should not be allowed sir discretionary power are allowed sir these are also uh, indirectly ma- uh, mentioned in the constitution itself sir for the uh, post of governor so these are uh, allowed and given so that the, if there is a crisis let's say in the state government or if the assembly falls then government governor can exercise his discretion to appoint a government sir hmm. so sir uh, i believe i think that uh, these should be allowed sir what the discretionary powers for a, for an officer sir uh, discretionary power for an officer could be when he is posted uh, within a services within a within a place sir, he can exercise certain rules and regulations sir there are delegated legislation sir which the rules bureaucrats makes sir so those in a sense are discretionary as the individual can exercise those rules what i am asking is whether discretionary powers should be encouraged or should not be encouraged sir these should be uh, there should be a balance sir i think hmm. so balance so that uh, these should not cross the given limits sir. the uh, the constitutional morality and the rule of law should be upheld and within the scope of these sir, discretionary powers should be allowed okay elections in rajya sabha how rajya sabha members are elected yes sir so sir we follow a a, a, a system where rajya sabha members are elected from the state legislative assembly sir so these are uh, elected in a proportional proportional representation system with single transferable votes single transferable right. votes very very good in the very first attempt you have made it yes, huh? that's uh, remarkable i wish you well i hope Thank you make it through finally also okay <clears throat> you are from madhya pradesh yes sir you see for the first time there was something called jal satyagraha what exactly is that jal satyagraha Um, where in madhya pradesh it took place i'm sorry sir i'm not aware you have no clue at all no sir. jal satyagraha no sir meda patkar does it give you any clue i have heard uh, of meda patkar uh, you sir. heard meda patkar yes. but not jal satyagraha <laughs> any issues of narmada thing now can you make out sir i can recall the narmala narmada bachao andolan sir hmm. <coughs> yes sir so it was for the uh, conservation of the uh, land around narmada for water demands and for the rehabilitation of the tribal people in the uh, but what do you think area. what sort of satyagraha it must have been when it's called jal satyagraha yes sir what sort of satyagraha it must have been yes sir it might have been a, a, a protest by the uh, activist as well as the village people against the government uh, plan of no, no, no. satyagraha normally people take fast and to death or things like that Yes, Here, sir. what would have been possibly done? You have any idea? Jal said they stood in water for 15 days. I thought you would have known. Anyway, now how is the growth of an economy measured? Uh, I'm, I'm Economic sorry. growth of a country measured is measured, sir. So uh, it is measured uh, in uh, sir GDP growth rate. Very sir. good. Define GDP. So GDP is the uh, our total amount of goods and services produced in a country in a given year. in your country doing here very good have you seen today's paper uh yes sir i have mm, seen okay but do you have any idea about the imf forecast for growth uh i skipped that sir i'm sorry <laughs> you have no clue okay uh have you seen the economic survey of country and uh, no sir I no have, i have no. seen it. do you have any idea about economic survey what is the purpose of economic survey why is it brought out every year religiously yes sir so economic survey is brought to uh, uh, forecast the future growth as well as to tell about the uh, growth which has happened in the previous year so that the government has the idea uh, to bring about reforms in the budget sir subsequently very good but this year thing you had uh, no time or chance to see uh, you don't recall anything of that i uh, no sir i'm sorry huh? i'll have to read into that sir i'll have to read okay what is the population pyramid you know we talk about Uh, you have any idea about population pyramid ah uh, yes sir I, it, uh, what I is it? it you can you draw take a minute and draw yes, do you know sir. you know population pyramid can you draw yes sir i can draw yeah, try just one minute and define the two axes
Não, não, não. జపాన్ పాపులేషన్ so demographic dividend is when the working age population of a country is maximum mm. what is the working age what is the definition so uh, it includes uh, age from 18 to 65 sir 18 to 65 yes sir ah it's a new definition <laughs> okay the last question uh, what hobbies do you have do you have any hobby i didn't see yes sir uh, reading books are ah, great so what is the latest which book have you read lately uh so i have read the uh, tiananmen square by the ex foreign secretary of india shri vijay gokhale ji ah good so what did you find in that interesting yes sir so the book is about uh, the tiananmen square protest which happened in 1989 in china sir so it it goes on to explain as to why that protest happened and as to why china currently does not want the world to know about the protest in recent times was he a witness to the whole thing yes sir he was because witness. he was posted there then yes sir. as our ambassador gokhale very good uh okay who is the governor of madhya pradesh uh asa shri anandi ben patel okay thank you sir you like watching foreign films yes sir so abhi which you like watching foreign films cinema like which uh, yes sir so i have recently watched the uh, uh, iranian movie a separation by asghar faradi sir so it it basically reflects about the middle life crisis in iranian families so it uh, goes on to explain as to how women when they have uh, issues which relates to uh, morality or or male centric so sir they refer to the uh, state uh, religious guidelines when they are planning to do one thing secondly sir they also reflect as to how women work within the uh, within their household as to how they are supposed to be outside their household sir yes okay and which other countries and where do you watch sir i watch it on uh, i basically download it from torrent or uh, netflix sir, or amazon prime Uh, is torrent legal in india sir the state sir it is certainly uh, the status is not clear sir it is uh, prohibited to download from torrent but then you can find uh, those videos in uh, groups sir where the videos are legally downloaded and shared sir so there are groups on telegram which, where you can find these still it is not legal anyways uh, which laws cover all this downloading and sharing of data illegal sharing of data uh sir i can only guess sir i'm not sure okay you can take a guess sir uh, it could be it act okay uh can you recommend me some non fiction books you have a habit of reading books ah uh, yes sir sir in non fiction i would start with uh, uh, the recent book uh, the tiananmen square which i have read uh, it's a good book and also the part of this china yes sir i can also uh, recommend uh, pakistan under siege by madhiya afzal sir it's a book uh, released in 2018 about pakistani society how it functions and i can also recommend you uh, a book called uh, Na- uh, the third reich uh, it is a so these are all international relations book anything apart from this genre sir uh, i can only recall these books right now i have uh is it beneficial for india to join quad yes sir sir there are reasons why india is going on to join quad sir it's because uh, india wants uh, to firstly balance china within indo pacific its main interest secondly the uh, quad is also about infrastructure development sir so the blue dot network the cdri which india proposed and the uh, partnership for quality infrastructure with japan leads sir it it can all function under quad and can lead to uh, infrastructure development in southeast asia sir sir also there is interest of a trade uh because apparently 70% of the oil of the uh, trade happens through malacca dilemma which falls within la- within the larger indo pacific sir so i think in, it it would be beneficial for india sir is it a military grouping or a uh, general grouping sir uh, as of now sir the current status is, is it is a, a re, uh, general grouping sir it has not has it been official yet 
Uh, yes, sir. Because the uh, uh, official document which the four countries proposed recently. Uh, uh, China is also trying to make a quad. Some sort of a structure of type quads. I'm sorry, sir. I cannot think of any such. Okay. What recently happened in Mizoram and Assam? Assam? Have you tracked it? Yes, sir. I just uh, glanced through the paper just now. So there was this dispute. So the dispute is about a 165 kilometer border which both states share. And this is apparently a colonial history, sir. Uh, sir, Assam uh, says that uh, in 1993 the border was demarcated, whereas Mizoram goes on to say that no, uh, in the, the 1875 border which uh, divides Lushai Hill, that is Mizoram, and the Chacha district of Assam, that should be the official one. So there is no consensus between both states. Can you compare between the foreign cinema style and the Indian cinema style? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, the, the reason why I like Indian cinema is because the music is very great, sir. So, the main main uh, contrast which I have noticed is the music. The foreign cinema basically is more about story, more about character development, which is also there in Indian cinema, but Indian cinema goes on to uh, glorify music as the core of the uh, uh, movies, sir. So, this... Is true? Uh, yes, sir. So, this is my understanding of uh, the cinema, sir. What qualities do you have to become a good civil servant? Sir, firstly, it has to be why I want to become a civil servant as to why I want to become one. Secondly, uh, when I have thought that, uh, okay, I have to go for civil service, then I should be, uh, there should be a leadership quality within me. Thirdly, uh, I should be empathetic towards the vulnerable section. So these are some qualities. Why are civil services? And then you didn't explain why civil services. Yes, sir. So, because before you are to venture into a career that, that goes on for 35, 45, 40 years, you should know why you want to join civil service. So, sir, the reason why I want to join civil service is because I've always want to, wanted to become a person where uh, I can be beneficial for the people uh, at the ground level as well as I can deal with the people at the top level, sir. So, sir, this is my, my reason for joining civil service. Dealing in what sense? Like you just said dealing with people at the ground level. Yes, sir. Sir, sir to be uh, helpful for the people at the ground level, uh, to work for their welfare, as well as to uh, deal at the top level. By top level, I mean at the international level, at the uh, national level, sir. Uh, does Indian laws provide for full freedom of expression? Sir, uh, they, uh, it uh, provides under reasonable restrictions, sir, which are mentioned under Article 19 of the Indian Constitution, sir. Are the reasonable restrictions well defined? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Sir, uh, reasonable restrictions uh, means uh, the freedom of speech and expression should be allowed as to not hinder the public morality, uh, the uh, law and order, sir, decency, and so on, sir. Sir, what is this tomorrow then? Sir, Tomorrowland uh, is an uh, electronic dance music festival uh, held in Belgium every year, from where people from more than 100 countries come together and join the... Have you seen the movie Tomorrowland? Uh, no, sir. I have not seen the movie. Mm. Uh, the parliament is under the Kavja. It's not functioning. You are aware of this, right? There is a protest by opposition and it's constantly disrupted. Yes, sir. Are you aware of this? I'm sorry, sir. I'm not aware. Okay. Um, you have what do you call? Uh, we talk about a lot of political thinkers. We talk about Plato, Aristotle, yes, Hobbes, Locke. These are all uh, old thinkers, right? Yes. Can you tell me about some contemporary political thinkers and their ideas? Yes, sir. Sir, I can uh, think of Noam Chomsky. Noam Chomsky is a US based political thinker. Uh, he talks about uh, a need for development of a social democracy, where democracy as well as uh, the needs for the welfare of the for the welfare state are fulfilled. So I can think of Joseph Stiglitz. Sir. He, he writes a book about globalization as to how globalization. Yeah, uh, he, he, he's an economist, right? Yes, sir. But he's also a political thinker. And political thinker, sir. Yes, sir. I can think about Joseph Stiglitz, sir. What is the future of democracy? So the future of democracy, uh, uh, sir, I am not an idealist here. I'd say that uh, the democracy uh, survives to be the best because it guarantees freedom of speech and expression, liberty and dignity of individuals. Sir. Is democracy under threat from surveillance and uh, AI? Sir, these can be uh, these can be predicted to be a threat. 
uh, which can hamper the overall aspect of democracy sir okay uh, what are some of the parliamentary bills in parliament this time in this session uh, i'm sorry sir i'll have to read from the those uh, you have sprinting as a hobby uh, as a scholarship prize yes sir you've done sprinting uh, yes sir who are the probable winners for the sprinting in uh, olympics this time sir uh, i'll i'll be um, this this might be a little biased sir but andre de grasse a canadian sprinter this time okay because he has won the uh, 2016 silver one in 200 meters okay. and also he was uh, he won a bronze in 4 into 400 meter relay in 2016 uh, how's india's performance in track and field so uh, track and field events so this time we have uh, dati chand shri dati chand uh, running for 100 meter and 200 meter women uh, sprinting but overall we do not have any men uh, sprinter in 100 meter and 200 meter why do we perform badly in track and field events i'm sorry sir why do we perform why do we not have olympic medals much in this event yes sir sir uh, to to quote the words by dati chan i i read an article she uh, where she spoke about the future of sprinting and why india has not won uh, so many medals so she says that uh, uh, apparently at the national level sprinting is uh, in 100 meter and 200 meter is not very much focused the focus is more on 4 into 400 meter so there is there are training and infrastructure issues as well sir these are some reasons sir you have debating as one of your hobby yes sir i want you to speak for 30 second in favor of the parliamentary with sir for this project yes 30 sir. second against sir oh all right sir so can i take take a 10 second so shall i start yes sir so in favor so uh, this side of the house believe that uh, central vista program is necessary it is necessary necessary because uh, it is apparently the need of the hour the uh, central government is paying approximately 1000 crore in the rent secondly there will be efficiency and coordination within ministries as the it as it houses all the ministry in a single uh, compartment thirdly it also deals with the uh, new stru- uh, structure the infrastructure it is bringing because uh, the current uh, is not the current infrastructure is not very disaster prone or nuclear prone so this uh, infrastructure deals with that the uh, reason why central vista shouldn't be there and uh, and, I, and i now argue in opposition of that is because a, a lot of money is go- going to get into that and secondly uh, uh, as of now the covid-19 pandemic has uh, uh, increased the uh, need for health in uh, health investment so the money can be right now used for that and then we can go on to uh, uh, invest in these structures okay thank you good thank you okay thank you good abhi your interview is over